Hello, this is Screencast 4, continuing looking at the Blocks app, which is a visual editor for Bootstrap. Just a reminder that it's Mac only. We've I've looked at Pingendo, which is free and is available on different platforms. Um, so that's what you need to bear in mind. You can download a trial version if you have a Mac and use it for five days, a little bit limited, but you'll be able to find out what the functionality is. Okay, I'm gonna just look at some variants of what we've already looked at before. I've already created a site folder. Inside the site folder, I have images that I'm gonna use in here, all my image assets, which have been scaled appropriately for a website. I click on the um, welcome um, screen on the left button, and that will give me a new uh, blocks app document. First thing I'll do is go file and I'll say save. I'll go up and make sure I'm in my blocks app uh, folder that I've created for my site. It's called my site. You can name it something else. I'll just leave it on that. It'll save the blocks app document in the, just to recap the interface, has menus up at the top, um, but also it has the hamburger menu on the right where it brings out all the options for um, customizing blocks and also your document options. On the right, it's got adding new pages, which we'll look at later on in another screencast. Now, once I've done that, the first thing I'll do is you've got page elements on here, so you can retype and name the page. Then it's got block elements and it's got the site. Now, in the site, it's got design, SEO, and miscellaneous. Now, we'll go SEO and you can name this, I'll say, my uh, blocks site now that's just going to be the name of your website you can put in keywords if you wish there would be a word associated for a search engine followed by a comma also you have a description a short punchy paragraph to describe what your website's about okay and also you can put analytic options in there to do with tracking to do if you've got google analytics uh, miscellaneous is putting in a, a favicon, which I'll do in the minute once I bring in my um, image assets. Now, if I go up to the file menu and I go import assets, you can bring in your assets. Now I've got an images folder and I've got a number of images on the, that I've got. So I will shift click those and bring them in, bring them into my project assets. I'll just go back and get some more of these two here, bring those in. And then finally, I've got another one, another folder. I've got my ones here, which is blocked. So these are all the images I've scaled and got ready. And I'll just bring in my uh, favicon. I'll go back here, I've made a favicon, which is 45 pixels square, saved with the file extension ICO. That's a PNG file with a, I've renamed the extension ICO, so it recognizes it as a favicon. I've got those all in there. These are all my ones, which I brought in. Here's the uh, patterns. These are already existing in the Blocks app. And also finally, it's got photos. And these are just clip art photos that Blocks app comes with to get you started, right? I'll cancel that. Now I'm back here in the site of miscellaneous and I click here for my favicon. Um, I need to go to my project assets and that's my favicon here and I bring it in. And that just appears when you preview in the browser next to the title, it'll give the little icon or your logo that you have for your site. And once that's done, I'm gonna put a nav bar. I click up here. Now in previous screencasts, we've looked at just getting different types of nav bars where the um, links are for the pages and also where the logo and the title of the page. I'm gonna go for this time, which is a, a cover hero image, which is top right up here. I click it and it brings it in. Now you can change any of these elements. You would click on them and where it's got your information, you would change that, type in what you want, and especially for the subheading, you can also change the company name up here. We've got that, you can change it to text or a logo if you wish. I have the company, I'll just call it Blocks Site for want of a better name, and that will change that. Yeah. Now also you can click on the buttons. Buttons have different options. You can have them rounded, you can have them square, so you can change those around however you want. You have XL buttons, medium buttons. You can change the size uh, of your buttons and change them to different sizes. I'll just put that back on XL. Um, you can change them to different elements. You can have flat, um, 
it also has what it calls clean uh, it has glossy buttons which will put a bit of a um, bevels on them and then it has wire which makes the ghost buttons on that so i'll just leave that as it is i can change the name i'll just come up the top for the label and i'll say find uh, explore okay once i click away from that it'll change it down here so that's how you would do that and also it's got a little button down the bottom here and that will get you to once it appears full screen you click on it and takes you down to the page elements right so what i will do now is i'll click here on my block it's given it his name up at the top which you can't change and it says hero block now i will go underneath here it's got the background click on here and i will select an image to make from a background and there it is it's put it in the background image now it's got it on fill if i change it to something else it will look a lot different so you make sure it's on fill automatically it is on fill um so i'll put it back on fill to put it back there now also you can put parallax on there and what that will do if you put yes on there as we scroll up it does this so that might be something useful uh, that you would want on your site okay now that's set up i'm going to add another block so i'll just scroll down here and this is the body section i click here now first of all i'm going to put a four images on there so when i click on here it's got lots of options for doing the empty containers um, that you can put in here in your blocks or i can click on the option on the right and that will give me ones that have a little bit more on there that i can just customize um, by adding images so i click on here i've got my three images now what i'm going to call this and once i've got this block and it's appeared and i make sure i've got it selected how i know that is to delete a block you will click up here when i click on that block that means that's selected it doesn't have a name and if i call this three image block now you need to make sure that you don't put any numbers and names because it doesn't uh, like that happening um, but mostly this is for your own reference or when you're linking to things it will help if you're creating anchors on your page now i've got that on there now the next thing i i, I will need to do is I, I say for example want to add some images i just click here and i can click again and i can bring in an image or click again or i can bring in images that are already in here so it's as simple as that of bringing those in uh, each of those images you just click and i bring that in now you can make images smaller if you want um, if i select an image use a keyboard shortcut which is holding the alt key and arrow down will will make it smaller and alt arrow up will make it bigger it will not make it any bigger than the physical size of the image so if you take it all the way up once it gets to you know your 100 percent it will not make it any bigger and it's in there so it will go back down again so bear that in mind so i've got that set up again i can click here and you can, you can change any of these or cut and paste any of the information these are fully customizable you have options at the top to center your text also you can change the fonts over here if you wish make it bold make it bigger totally up to you how you want to change those around so i can center all those and they'll center all this text so it's pretty quick and simple how you change things around now next i'll add uh, another block um, so i go down to the bottom i click on the plus sign here this time i'm going to go for the blank one so i click on the icon that's on the left and once i've got that i move it along so you've got this where it's got uh, a larger um, two column on the side and a one column here so i put it on my page now i want to change the background color and i'm gonna first before i do that i click on the block make sure i've got it i know it because of the delete over here and i'm going to call this movie block because i'm going to have um a movie on there as an iframe so i put that on there now what i want to do is change the background color i'm going to make it black so i will need to set up a swatch for that so i go up here and i move the swatch and there it is black and i click add now you'll see the block above has changed to so if i click back on that block i know it's got it selected there and i need to set up white so i move that up at the top and then you know i set a swatch for white um so that's got that 
Now, if we go back here, you'll see on here, it's got these elements. And this time I can click on that. I'll just click away from it the time being until I put my other elements on there. I'll make that white for the moment. Now, what I will do is I will right mouse click and you'll see it down at the bottom. I've got all my bricks. So what I will do is click on the plus sign. It's got lots of options here of what to add within our blocks. I'm going to go for media. I'm going to click video. I'm going to click done. And you'll see the cursor will add to a plus sign on a green button and you just hover it over where you want to put it. I put it in this block because it's the biggest and I need to remember to right mouse click to get rid of the ads otherwise I'll just keep on adding videos. I go over to my side here where it's got done because I've still got the color picker. Click on my video. Now the video gives us options to make it widescreen if we wished. Also, this is where you would embed. This is what you would get the embed code from either Vimeo or YouTube, or if you're doing your own, you would put it just inside there. So that's selected. Now I'm going to click on my other um, block on the right here. I right mouse click to bring up my brick elements, and I'm just gonna go for one that's got it here. So I click on this one, which is gonna have a little title with a paragraph, hover it over here, and then I just click the mouse. Now remember to right mouse click and that will get rid of the um, the ads function and you can edit this wherever you want. Now what I'll do is click back on the block again and it's got movie block and this time I'll go down to change its color from the swatches and change it here. And you'll see now it's got the elements on the, it, it's picking up the color. So ideally once you add to an empty block then change the color last doesn't preview the film in the preview mode within the blocks app you have to do that within the browser now that's set up um, we've got all those set up so far and now I'm going to put some footer elements on there so first up I just go down to its footer element I click I then have the option on the right to add some of these uh, sort of little templates and first I'm just going to go for these ones which are news articles I click it I'll click away on there and I've got some news articles on there. And then finally, I'm going to add another block. So I hover the mouse down the bottom center, click on the plus sign. And this time I'm going to put some social media icons on there. I click these large ones and I click away from it. So here those are. Now I'm going to go up and click on my news block. I'm going to make sure I click done up here. I'm going to make sure we'll call that news uh, block and then I'm going to click on this one and I'll call it uh, social uh, block okay so I've named that now the social block I'm going to change its color so I'm on there and I click here and uh, I'm going to go for something like maybe you know an orangey color for that I click here now it's changed the whole lot so what I need to do is just go here and click on my um, block for the news i'll just click and then i'll just click white from the swatches and that changes color so we've got that laid up and you'll find up here this has changed as well so i click here and make sure i change that to white okay so you might find there might be some changes if you haven't designated the color from the swatches so that's sort of all done so far and you always have to remember to uh, save it and finally i'll just go to the file menu export project I'm going to save it in my block site it comes up there and says my site and I click save and that will compile some HTML documents some style sheets which are in this folder and then I can open this up and there it is so everything's working fine the video is working fine and also it is responsive